Okay, my peeps, let's make a whimsical cocoa mug using a pool noodle. So you're going to cut a piece of pool noodle down, and you're going to cut out two circles from a cardstock or whatever you have, and glue them to the bottom of the piece of pool noodle you have. And you're going to roll out some clay. We're going to roll out two round circles to cover the top and the bottom of the piece of the pool noodle. So make sure you use a cutter that's almost to the size of your pool noodle. And then use some tacky glue and glue that up on top of your pool noodle. And then the other part to the bottom of your pool noodle. Then just, you know, secure it to the pool noodle by rolling it around a little bit. And then you're going to roll out some clay because we are going to do the sides of your cocoa mug and you're going to lay your mug, your, I'm sorry, your, your pool noodle down and you're just going to try to measure it as close to the size of your clay. Then you're going to just put a little bit of glue on top just to make it tacky so that the glue, I mean the clay sticks on there pretty good and just roll it up. And make sure you seal those edges really good because if you don't, when the clay dries, it's going to crack. So make sure you get all the edges nice and sealed as best as you can. Then roll it out till you get like the seam done. Then you're going to roll out another piece of clay into a rope. And... Uh, you're going to take that rope and you're going to cut it in half. And then we're going to twist it up. And this is going to be the handle of our mug. So just roll it out a little bit after you uh, roll it together. And cut it out at an angle so when you put it on your mug, it kind of just fits right on the mug. And make sure you get those edges when you put the handle down really good. Then you're going to roll out another log, but a really thin one this time. And that's going to be the rim of our cup. So make sure you roll it out long enough to fit around the whole mug. Then you're going to put it on the edge. And that's going to be the rim. And make sure you get those seams on there really good and secure. So that seems to look okay. So then I found these stickers at uh, Dollar Tree, these Valentine stickers, and I'm just going to put some on there. They're very pretty and glittery, and they have uh, about five designs on that sheet you can use. I'm just going to use like four little pieces just to, you know, decorate the front of my mug. I think that looks good. So then this is uh, cork, Mod Podge, and paint. And that's going to be our hot cocoa. And I'm just going to put some right into the middle of the mug. And make sure I spread it around really good to kind of level to the rim of your cup. But make sure you don't overfill it. So I would just like spread it around instead of just like, oh, you know, adding more and more. Just spread it around until you fill up your mug. And then I made some marshmallows out of white clay. And I'm going to put like three marshmallows on there. You can put as many as you want. And then I got my star sprinkles. And I'm going to just throw some sprinkles up on there. Just to make it look a little bit more Valentine and more festive. And then I'm going to get some nonpareils. And I'm going to throw some in there as well. And um, I'm also going to probably add a little bit of glitter. And I think that's going to be it for the mug. I think it came out pretty cute. I made another one before that one. It's a little bit smaller, but I think it came out cute for the most part. Hope you like it.